Following the PewDiePie incident, let's talk about the power of YouTube and personal responsibility. Hi everyone, my name is Yaron Shavit. Welcome to Shavinism, where every Monday there's a discussion topic, such as today, and every Thursday there's some comedy and characters. Today I want to talk a little bit about the aftermath of the whole PewDiePie incident. Uh, for those that don't know the PewDiePie incident, I'll sort of sum up. So PewDiePie, who is the biggest YouTuber in the world today, with over 57 million followers, uh, was doing a live stream, a gaming live stream, where he said, uh, fucking, and then the n-word. Now, of course, this caused a lot of noise in the YouTube world, and it got to mainstream media. Uh, he issued a formal apology and, and sort of had uh, many people debating whether it was a publicity stunt, whether it was, he's a racist or not a racist. I don't really want to get into all that uh, because I think it's been covered by too many people, and, and every YouTuber is putting a video about what he thinks about the PewDiePie incident. It's not the first time he's he said some some outlandish things. There was an earlier incident with anti-Semitism this year, where Disney canceled an agreement after there were some anti-Semitic symbols uh, on his channel. He wanted to show that people would do anything for a relatively low amount of money, so he publicized on Fiverr which is a website that offers different things for five dollars. He basically made people stand with a sign that said kill all Jews or something like that uh, for five dollars. Of course that offended a lot of people but I think he actually did prove his point that people would do anything for a relatively low amount of money. Personally I don't think he's racist. I do think he made a mistake. Anywho that's just the backstory of PewDiePie, the, the latest incidents. Uh, if you want to check PewDiePie out obviously look it up, google it, you'll find a lot of information about him. Regardless of PewDiePie, I just want to say that YouTubers, at the end of the day, are just regular people with a camera and an open mic. They may potentially reach millions of viewers, but they're not the president-elect. And maybe, I, I mean, I know they're called influencers, and of course, they, they, YouTube has changed the world because now the, the ability of an individual to affect a lot of people and to reach millions of people is, is a lot more accessible. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that's the reality we live in. And maybe we shouldn't idolize them and hold them to the highest standards. Maybe we should remember that they're just people in the living room with an open mic and it's, it's our choice whether we want to watch them or not. If we don't agree with something that someone says, we can choose not to watch it. We don't have to watch it. If we comment and we tweet about it, and we discuss it in Facebook groups, and we explain our disappoint, express our disappointment, we're only empowering that person. That person is as powerful as we make them. We can keep stigmatizing the creators and the influencers for saying stuff that we don't agree with, for making a horrible society, for or creating ideologies that we think are horrible, but at the end of the day, we're the consumers. And I'm not talking specifically about PewDiePie. Like I said, I don't even think PewDiePie is racist. I don't care if you like him or not. It's 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 not it's not the dialogue I'm trying to create. The dialogue I'm trying to create is why do we always go for sensationalism? Why do we always keep buying things that we think are not good for society? If you think that what PewDiePie did or wh whatever YouTuber it is, if you think that what they did is wrong uh, on an ethical level and it's something that you definitely think shouldn't be supported, don't support it. Don't watch it. Unsubscribe. Forget they exist. And that, at least then, you have a clear conscience that you're not supporting what that person stands for. My second point is uh, for the creators, for the YouTubers, the influencers as they called. YouTube has changed the world that we live in because the source that we gather information is very different. We used to have just a newspaper delivered to our home or whatever, the radio, whatever it is they showed, that's what we, we that's, that's the only world that fed us. Right now anyone can write and say anything and post it and potentially reach millions of people. That puts a responsibility also on the person writing and creating content. And not to be too much of an idealist, but I do think that we have some sort of social responsibility. I urge every creator to think, just before they put a video out, to think, am I damaging society? I really do hope that the answer will be no ever, every time and I, I really hope that in, in a medium that's very selfish at the end of the day because it's all about me, you know, what am I putting out there, how will people respond to me. At the end of the day we, we need to remember that the whole purpose 
uh, the communication mediums may have changed, but the purpose of all this, hopefully, will be to create a better society and not to damage it and have people treat each other with respect. On any event, everyone, thank you very much. Sorry I was being so serious, but if you, if you do like this content, obviously subscribe to the channel, check out other videos. Uh, I'm a lot funnier on, on Thursdays. Uh, this was kind of serious and depressing, but I, I'm not always like this, I, I, honestly. I, and I hope to see you again. Or, or to you see me again, or, or to, yeah, just connect with me. Uh, thanks, and, and have a good one, guys. Have a, have a great week. Bye.